Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to extend our MIDI notes to the next note we play in our performance. And this comes up quite often for me, so I thought it was worth showing the different options available. So, for project setup here, with some drums, bass, keys, and a vocal, and I want to play some chords on top of it. I have a keyboard sound set up with a virtual MIDI instrument on it with some piano and strings blended. Let's hear it now. So let's put down some simple chords so I could show you how this works. Now to edit this performance, as I didn't play it perfectly in time, we just double click the MIDI item and it opens up the MIDI editor like this. And as we can see, our notes are a bit too short and they're also not perfectly in time. So what we could do is we can quantize the performance right here. It's set up using our grid, which is eighth notes right now, all notes, and it's quantizing the position. We could bypass it to see it from before and turn it off to see it quantized. But it's only quantizing the start position. We want to quantize the end as well to extend these notes to the next chord. So we could change this to position, note, and end. But because we set it to eighth notes and I didn't play the notes long enough, it doesn't extend further. And because this part is so simple, we could just change this to manual with a grid of a whole note, and then we could do it and it looks perfect. But sometimes, if we're playing upbeats or syncopation, this isn't going to work. So let's put it back to use grid, all notes, and just quantize the position for now. The next thing we could do is we could select all the notes, then go to our menu under Edit, and choose Set Note Ends to Start of Next Note, or Legato. Now this will work sometimes, but quite often it won't. Again, with syncopation or upbeats, some notes might not extend to the next one. But it's definitely worth trying as it's a lot quicker than the next way. Let's try it. Notice the notes extended perfectly, although the last note over here didn't extend to the next bar. But like I said, sometimes this won't work, but always try this just in case. The next thing we could do is use an action. Let's go to Actions, Show Action List, and type into the filter Trim Right. And there's an action right here that's going to trim the right edge of our notes to the edit cursor. And I'm going to add a keyboard shortcut to this. I'm going to choose the E key. And remember, you can choose any keyboard shortcut you want, but because we're in the MIDI editor, you can use keyboard shortcuts that you're already using in the Rest of Reaper, as this keyboard shortcut is only going to work in the MIDI editor. So we'll choose E and close this. Now we also need to change a mouse modifier. Let's go to our preferences, control P on the PC, command comma on the Mac. And let's scroll down to editing behavior and our mouse modifiers. And make sure we're in the context MIDI note and left click. By default, it's gonna select note and move the edit cursor. So if we select a note right here, it selects the note but also moves the cursor. We don't want that for this. In fact, I don't really like this at all. So you could change it temporarily, but for me, I'm gonna change it completely. So I'm gonna double click this and just change it to select note, but not move the edit cursor. As we can move the edit cursor if we want, just by clicking anywhere else besides a note, but it's not gonna work with this action to have it move when we select our notes. So now we can just select in the ruler to bar three, select a note, hit E, it extends it to that point. And just do the same thing with all the notes. Select this one, hit E, and this one. And to do this quicker, just lasso the notes, right click and drag, put a cursor here, type E, and very quickly we can extend our notes to the next note, making them legato 
if that menu action didn't work. Let's do it with this one, and this one, and finally this one. So now we can close the MIDI editor as each note is now perfect. And our performance should now be perfect as well. Sounds good. Let's record it one more time to see how easy this is. Again, just double click it. It opens up like this. We'll quantize it, but just the position. Then we'll select the notes. Put a cursor right here. We could also arrow over using the right arrow. If it's quicker, type E and it extends it to that point. And just like that, we could extend all the notes we need. Close this. Now it's perfect. Let me show you one other trick is cut it down to the four bar phrase and glue it. Right click, glue items. Now it's going to loop this item just by trimming it out. So you can play it through the whole song, playing that four bar phrase. Sounds good. And again, if you try legato and it works, it's going to be a lot quicker. But if it's not working for you, and many times it won't use that trick I just showed you. So that's pretty much it. That's how to extend MIDI notes to next notes in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.